options don't matter. We're just going to go ahead and click OK, just so we can see what happens. And then we're going to go over into Poser. OK, so here we are in Poser. And what I'll do here is choose File and Import and attempt to import the wavefront object that was saved on the desktop. Make sure that you choose File and Import Wavefront Object. And then you want to go ahead and just go to navigate to wherever it is you saved the object, uh, the dress object, and then just hit open. Uh, once inside, you get a couple options, uh, centered, percentage of the standard figure, make polygon normals consistent. For the most part, 3 max is fine. We don't need any of these options, so we just click OK. And then we give it a second to process. And this is just being shown to show how huge this dress is. So as you can see, there's a line that suddenly appeared back there. That's a shadow of the dress. The dress is actually, imagine yourself standing somewhere in the Epcot Center. This is you, and that line back there would be the edge of the Epcot Center. That's how big this dress is. Even if we were to go to the auxiliary view, we still can't see this dress. Even if we zoom as far out in Poser as we possibly can, we still won't see this dress. It's that big. Keep in mind, of course, that this is just a shadow. So, with that said, let's go back into 3D Max and then get it sized up correctly. Okay, here we are back in 3D Max. This is the left view. Uh, what I'll be doing now is clicking on the original model here and just going ahead and deleting her. Because we don't need her anymore, we just need the, to make that dress around her body. Uh, we'll then click the dress, go into File and Import. And we're going to import the original V4. It's right here. Give that a second to process. And this time, we're not going to choose any options. We're just going to choose single. And the vertex scale this time will just be 1. All the other options are shown. Click OK. OK, so the wave, the wave front object has been brought in. It's called default, of course, in 3D Max. Uh, what we'll call it now is just V4 what she is. Uh, and what we're seeing right now is actually the dress, so we want to zoom out really far. Do you see this big green object there? That's the dress. That little bitty teeny tiny thing down there? That's V4. Just to give you an idea of what this looks like. There's the edge of that dress. Let's go ahead and press um, let's go ahead and press Alt X here. So we can see through that dress. And let's go ahead and select V4 again. And then zoom in on her. There she is. So tiny. Let's zoom out. Can't begin to zoom fast enough. There she goes. And there's the dress. Okay. So, the next question is, how do we get the dress size to her? You certainly don't want to scale V4 up. We've already done that to work on her in the first place. So what we'll actually be doing is zooming closer to her, and we're just going to go ahead and lock her in place so that she can't move, we can't move her around, because we don't want this wavefront object to be moved anywhere. If you grab her and move her around like that, the and then put the dress on her to make sure that it's sized correctly, it'll go into poser in the wrong position, and then your whole rig will be off. So we're going to go ahead and just right-click and choose Freeze Selection. And when, then we're going to click on the dress. Make sure that you're selected the dress. Press F12 to bring the transforms in. And if you don't know where that is, you can actually go to Tool and then Transform Type in. It's right up here or just press F12. Uh, what we'll be doing then is immediately choosing the scale option. 
all these different scales here. We're just going to be using the offset screen. So what you want to do is actually scale it down to point, I'm sorry, 0 0.03. Just go ahead and hit enter. And the dress is on a screen somewhere. We don't actually care where it is. Just go ahead and then click, right click and choose move. And change all these to zeros. That way the dress will be in the universal absolute zero spot. Hit enter. There's the dress down there. Tiny little thing. So we know we need to scale it up. So then just right click and you can scale it up by hand, by eye, whatever it is that floats your boat. As long as it gets on. You can also type it in. I'm going to go ahead and choose move. Move it back up here. Now if you recall, I actually had parented, well not, I'm sorry, not parented, but I actually um, put the pivot point right on the hips. So I'm going to put this right next to the hips so that when I scale it using the uniform scale, it'll scale away from the hips. I'm going to go ahead and press Alt-X and go to my perspective view. I'm then going to zoom in here. And let's check out the shaded view without the wireframes on. And let's just see how this looks. Okay, that looks just fine. It's not spectacular, but then it doesn't have to be. So we say okay that that's fine. Now we can turn off that. So what we'll do is make sure that we only have the dress selected. If you went ahead and froze before, you can't select her anyway. Um, make sure you have the dress selected. Go to File and Export Selected. Don't just choose Export. Make sure it's Export Selected. Um, go ahead and save your object file again. Make sure that it's a wave for an object. Once again, I'm saving to the desktop. Make sure the vertex scale says 1. You don't have to group anything unless you actually made groups, so we didn't, so this top option doesn't matter. Leave the rest exactly as they are. Leave this at 6, and go ahead and click OK. And yes, the faces should be polygons. Here are your options. Polygons are fine. Click OK. We don't actually need 3D Max open at the moment, but um, let's go back into Poser and import that file. OK, here we are back in Poser, and what we'll do is go to File, Import, Wave for an Object. Back on the desktop. Choose the dress object, click open, and then click OK. Give it a second to process, and then it immediately pops in. Put in the correct place, put in the right spot. It wasn't made perfectly to fit on her, but it fits, and it's OK, it's fine. It's not spectacular, it doesn't look great, but it does work. Now. Normally, you have to go into the setup room, make the bones to follow the actual bones of the body. But if you're just goofing off, you can actually go into the props over here. Oh, there's a Phil C's. Let's try mine. <laughs> Don't want to save over his files. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is press plus to add this to the library. I'm, going to I'm just going to call this address. I'll be erasing it in a moment. I'm going to choose select subset. Now it's this dress right here. Make sure you click that. Make sure you only click dress and then click OK. Great, so now the dress is in there. What 